And the union's call comes as many districts, including Buffalo Public Schools, are looking to bring more students back. Here's Channel 2's Ron Plants. Overall has been successful. Buffalo School Board member Larry Scott pleased so far with a move by the school district reopening classes back on February 1st for grades pre-K through second high school seniors and what were termed neediest students. Now at last night's school board work session on Zoom, Superintendent Kreiner Cash telling the board about phase two of reopening as of March 15th, now adding students in grades three and four, along with grades nine and 11, and some potential flexibility to open up another grade or so. The eventual goal for the end of April, reopening classes for all grade levels on a strictly hybrid level. That is two days of in-class instruction for most students with remote the other days. School building safety when it comes to cleanliness and ventilation, a factor in the teachers union unsuccessful legal challenge last month, also an apparent focus. There's been um, conversations occurring with the building engineers um, to determine places where we might need more custodians. So that is something that seems to be seriously con being considered, especially as we bring back more students. Now, the other factor to consider is transportation. We're told that currently only one child can sit on one seat in a school bus. If they have to bring more children back into school, you got to add more school buses. Actually, another 100 or so buses to the 358 they're running now, along with Metro passes for some students, and they have to cover charter, private, and other non-public and Catholic schools as well. Our transportation director needs to ensure that we can now add what will be 5,000 more students. At 6, a look at distancing discussions for bringing more kids back. Ron Plants, Channel 2 News.